get an espresso. Can I help you today? Hi, can I have three shots of espresso in a venti cup okay. with extra ice? And um, the, the pumpkin, the cold foam or whatever, but can you make sure it's thick, not like watery? Yeah, like the pumpkin foam, right? Yeah, um, with the flat top, thank you. All right, and you want us to like top it off? Uh, sure, yeah, with extra ice, yeah, sure. Yeah, but you're, I mean, you're paying for it, so like... <laughs> oh, okay, right. thanks. Yeah, all right, awesome. Anything else? Uh, that's it. All right, your total today will be three ninety five for the ice cold espresso and the venti cup with pumpkin foam, so top. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay, so, um, thing is, bitch, like, I respect the rules of the road, um, and it's really important that you do that, because, like, the thing is, and don't come for me about speeding, I'm not talking about speeding, don't make a fool of yourself here, don't ask questions, like, I'm really exhausted from you, like, you're dumb, okay, like, you, I know you're gonna question me and be like, oh, but you speed on the freeway, or some shit, like, you're so stupid. You're so you're a fucking idiot. Okay, you're the person who is in the fast lane going 64. Who I literally, you don't stop. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. Um. Anyway, there's this bitch in front of me. I'm not even kidding. I'm in the Starbucks drive-through. Like I'm in the Starbucks drive-through. I'm just trying to like get through a parking lot. It's like just day-to-day -day shit, right? Um. Okay, bitch. I just I follow the rules of the road. Like like normal human beings this bitch is on one this bitch is on one she wanted coffee so bad she legitimately did not yield like she was coming through the parking lot i was going straight like she was coming like on one of like the smaller you know like in the parking area like people who are coming straight from like the street like coming through they have the right of way she cut me off so fucking hard bitch like i'm not even kidding like i it's not like this is a thing if I deserved to get cut off, I would be like, oh my God, I'm like, actually, sorry. Like, whoops. She is a fucking bitch. Like, I swear to God, I want, like, why did she do that? Like, I'm honestly so mad right now. She's, she's living on her own damn planet. Ugly fucking cunt. Literally, she's, okay, she's like in a hurry. She's in a hurry and she just legitimately almost hit my car. Like, she almost, she, she almost hit my car while I was like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? Stop. I'm so upset right now. Like, I don't... The thing is, it's like a missed opportunity. Like, she's going to get away with acting like a fucking heathen. Like, you don't do that. You... There are, like, social... So, things you do as a human being in life, you don't do that kind of shit. It's fucking irritating. Just like if you don't get in the fast lane and go slow. Get the fuck over, you fucking idiot. She's the kind of bitch... She's the kind of bitch who would be in the fucking fast lane doing whatever the motherfuck she wants. It's very rude. Okay. Stop. <sighs> Anyway, let me just talk about my, I, I want to show you guys my sunglasses, but I'm going to show you the second. Like, the vibe is kind of like weird today. Um, and um, I, this is like from my trip. Yes, these are my snacks. These are my snacks, bitch. Okay, I'll tell you what's later about snacks. Um, but I, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, this was oh, yesterday. Oh my God, so dumb. Like you are going to, you're going to ask a stupid question when you're the one who's the moron and you made it wrong. You're going to ask, why would you ask if the sky's blue? Okay. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Like, honestly, like, wow. So I went yesterday to get my, my drink, the one I just got. Like, I just went to get that drink. Like I always do. It's like, whatever. And I order it the same way I always do, but I never order it like that. Like where I say like, can you make sure the foam isn't like fucking vomit? Okay. Um, if you're making something for someone and you know it's wrong, why do you give it to me? Like, why did you do that? Like, why did you do that? You know it's wrong. Do it correctly, bitch. Do it correctly. You're rude. You are rude. So yesterday, I went to coffee and like, I didn't, I was waiting outside with Ming because she wanted to walk around. And like, what are we calling him? Spouse? Like, a spouse? Like, I don't want to say boyfriend. I don't want to say spouse. Like, I just don't want to talk about anyone. Like, we're not talking about anyone. Like, no. Anyway, someone, I don't know. I just think, feel like, I feel like it's weird. Like, I don't give a fuck about your fucking spouse. Like, I don't give a shit. No, it's weird. Um, anyway, like, uh, he brought me the drink. And I was like, this is, like, looks disgusting. And he's, and then his was wrong, too. And so we went back inside. He's like, whatever, let's go back inside. So we went back inside, and I went to the front. And I was like, I'm sorry, can you please redo this? Um... the fuck can you please redo this um okay i talked to the person at the counter at the cash register i was like can you please redo this and um he's like yeah sure and then the little barista who made it like popped over like fucking like popped over bitch and she's like yeah uh, like what's wrong with it like 
okay i wanted to be like i wanted to take her head and 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 put the her head in the drink and be like what do you mean bitch what the fuck do you mean is wrong what do you mean like why am i having to explain the fucking obvious to you you're rude that's what the problem is is you're fucking rude okay you know what's wrong with it don't make me tell you what's wrong with it you think i'm stupid is this the way it should look i'm gonna make this shit i know what's wrong so i was like no it's just like really watery and it's it looks like a latte now because it should be dark espresso at the bottom and then if you had it made like the foam watery it would have been thicker and it wouldn't have melted through in literally 30 seconds dump back i'm mean, gonna say that but that's what i felt and i was like enraged when she had the audacity to ask me a question like this is the thing when people ask questions you know they're fucking dumb as fuck okay you fucking dumb fuck honestly like you're that dumb you're that dumb or you're, you're are you that dumb or are you or are you trying to make me look stupid like or, or like i'm like over the top which one is it because you made the drink wrong don't come and question me publicly and try to you are trying to what's the word that i hate publicly like like publicly shame me and ask me like you know what's wrong with it bitch are you fucking dumb you're a dumb shit cunt the fuck out of here okay so i just got home and i had a little too. Honestly, it better be right because I like straight up said to make it thick. Like, I don't understand the fucking problem with this. I, I don't see it, but I don't have like a good. Like, I'm just already so annoyed from yesterday, you know what I mean? Like, how can you be so rude to do that? Like, how can you be so rude to just do it correctly? Do it correctly. Like, I don't get it. Exactly right, but it's not like it's not like I'm not gonna like die about it, but it's not right. You saw it, like I don't even show it to you. It's kind of like you know what I mean. Well, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's like a it's like an eighty percent, like a seventy, like a seventy eight percent. Like okay, it kind of pissed me off. You know what I mean? But it's not like the worst, and that's not worth complaining about. It's really good. Like, I don't know the recipe because I don't work there, but whatever it is, like the thickening agent in it, they're like cheaping out on it or like they don't know how to do it properly. Like, I don't want like, I don't want like foam. I don't want like, I don't want vomit cream. Like, I just want like, like I want the foam. It's supposed to, it's supposed to stand a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, why do I, why do I have to explain this to you? Why do I have to explain this to you? So good. Ming? Ming Ming. She's there, but is she sleeping right now? And this is it. I don't cover zits. If you cover zits, something wrong with you. Um, it's actually disgusting. Like you see that people who try to like conceal zits. Oh my god, it's like all like caked on. Why would you do that? Just don't like seriously don't just just leave it. I, I swear to god, like you're not joking, you're not kidding anyone. I hate that. I mean, I think I like putting a little bit of like a BB cream or something over it. But if you're like doing the whole concealer thing, like no. I hate concealer, it's disgusting. Okay. I, okay, you guys, I'm actually really excited to tell you some shit. Okay, the first thing is that, I don't know how to like broach it with you though, because, okay, this is a thing. Um, I brought an inspo picture to my nail person, and yes, he's a, he's a, a boy, a man, and because you know how I feel about the whole thing with nail techs, okay? Why do I always have fucking something in my goddamn nose? And there's nothing. Like, why does it look like there's something and there's nothing in my fucking nose? Like, a fucking... Do you see that? How it looks like there's something, but there's nothing in my nose? 
so stupid. Like, why did you hear the fuck out of me every time I fucking try to do something? Stop. Like, what? There's nothing. I swear to God, like, sometimes I'm talking right now and I feel like I see something. But there's nothing there. Stop. Okay. Anyway, I'm not getting in, I'm not getting into anything with you guys today. Actually, yes, I am. But you, you irritate me and you're going to know that. Um, okay. So... I went to his, I went to him. I really love the way he does my nails. And no, I will not tell you where it is, okay? Because like, no, it won't. I I don't feel like it. I don't have to. I don't want to. Leave me alone. Um, and you can wear this with or without, like the pave. I um, I was wearing it like just plain yesterday, and today I went like this. Okay. Um. Anyway, so and I was like, I swear to God, like. Okay, I want to do blue nails next, but like I went to Vegas um, for like business trip and I don't want to have blue nails. Like, just like so tacky. Like, it's like I hate women with like colored nails in like a professional situation. It's like, it is so fucking trashy, dude. It is trashy, okay? Trashy. Yes, it is. It's trashy. Like, it's trashy. I also seen on the news lately, there's people, there's this like woman, she has like colored nails. Like, you are like that is a no i I, don't, I can't take you seriously like there's something wrong with you like there has to be a standard bitch like get some class okay anyway um so i was like no like i really want to do blue nails but like it's like so trashy this is a thing bitch like there, there's a time and a place for everything there's a time and a place for everything okay and that was not the time or the place okay so i was gonna have, have him do my um French manicure over because the last time I went, I like tried to do my a, a slightly different nail shape. It was like the biggest mistake of my life. Like no one would notice, but like I am so disgustingly disgusted, disgusted by anything that's like a little bit wrong, acutely wrong. Like it will sour my mood, bitch. Okay, so I was like, he did it, and he was like, what I wanted, but it was like not good on me it wasn't just like no i was like why the fuck did i even why did i try to divert from what i know is good like what the fuck is wrong with you anyway so i went back and i was like no just like put them back you know what i mean like and i was like i was gonna do a french and i was like but i really like this color i bought him this inspo picture and i was like it's like it, it's like um i said it was like it's like the color of like a, an acrylic one of those press-on like white nails that they use sometimes that's what i want and I was like, do you have anything like that? Like, it has to be milky, blah, blah, blah. And this is the thing, bitch. I actually don't want to tell you what it is because you're going to tell me you get it all the time. I know you're going to do that. So it's like, I just want to sit here and I want to, like, separate the class. I want to put the... the I want to put the little shits out of class right now and I want to keep the good students in and tell you guys but it's like I just know that all the fucking assholes out there be like I always do that oh my god I did that for 12 years like no okay let me see bitch prove it show me your nails show me your nails bitch show me your nails bitch okay because I've never actually seen this color I've never seen this color on anyone and guess what bitch I look at everyone's nails I follow nail pages, not anymore because I have my, my accounts all fucked up, but like I follow nail pages. I'm super into nails. You know it. Okay. I have never seen anyone do this. So don't even tell me you do. I don't believe you, bitch. Okay. Now that I got that off the table, I will tell you, but you don't get it. You don't get any credit for it. You don't do it. You don't do it. I have never seen anyone's nails look this good. Like, dude, this is it. I will never, like, this is always going to be a standard. This is the standard from now on, bitch. This is the standard. Take a fucking screenshot of the shape. These are my real nails, bitch. These are my real nails, bitch, okay? I don't need your fucking questions about the real nails or not. Yes, they're my real nails. Okay. This is funny bunny, okay? This is funny bunny, OPI funny bunny. Like, I've already heard about funny bunny. It's like, I don't know why I've never done it. Like, why the fuck have I never done that? And don't tell me you do it. Like, I'm already pissed because I know a lot of you are like, oh my God, I had that color. I'm doing it forever. Like, it's so obnoxious because I promise you, I promise you. No. When? Who? I've never seen you do that. Like, I've actually never, I have never seen you do it. I look at everyone's nails. Everyone's nails are disgusting. I'm never, ever, very rarely, bitch, very rarely do I take a photo and show 
him and show them a photo. Very rarely do I do that. In the old days, yes, when I did like Korean nails and shit, yes, that's different, like art and shit. But I'm talking about colors, like no, okay? The colors that I choose, it just like pops in my head and like the color I want, I have to like find it. You know what I mean? Anyway, I will also tell you because I'm being very generous right now is that this is three coats of Funny Bunny, okay? You have to do three coats, all right? Two coats is not enough. Anyway, you guys, like you irritate me so much because like it's, I feel like Funny Bunny is like a kind of like a, like not like, it's nothing like a big secret, but I promise you, you don't do it. Like I think they might put it underneath something and then put something on top. Like I don't know what it is, but like I have never seen, dude, if I saw these nails on someone, I would, I would chase after them to ask them. I would chase after them to ask what color that was because it's that good. Like it's a missed moment. It's a song that you hear that you don't know the name and you couldn't get your Shazam out and you, it just rings in your head. It's, you guys know how I feel about that. It's a missed opportunity. Okay. Uh, finding a nail color like this is a missed damn opportunity. And I just gave you a fucking, I just unmissed the opportunity for you, whatever you want to say, but I'm obsessed. It's like this clear milky white and it's like, just the coolest color. It's so sick. It's so effortless. Like, I just feel so on. Like, white is trashy. White is trashy. I mean, I like it. It's, it's pretty for like, like if, if you're in the right situation, there's a time and place for everything, bitch. There's a time and place for everything. But this is like a time, this is all the time. Like, this is so fucking effortless, okay? This, I'm obsessed. I'm already tired. You guys exhaust me. Like, I just really try to be cool with you. Like. I actually just try to be cool with you, but I already know, like, I already know you're going to like, try to like, be like, try to like, act like, just don't, you know what I mean? Just leave me the fuck alone. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about, I got to talk about an a, a straight A student because I really like want to, I know I got to talk about this too. Before I forget, I, I've been, this has been rolling around, um, my, oh, I forgot the note. Really? I think her name was Sally. Once again, this is that, that's rude. That's actually rude. This is the second time I've done that. Doesn't matter, I guess. God damn it. Why? I like had it rolled up in this. So I didn't, anyway, thank you so much. This, um, another straight A student sent me two of these. This is the, there, I guess there's like a, a shower version of it, like a shower gel. And I've actually already used half of the other one. I just forgot to like, say thank you and um this is the second bottle it's so fucking amazing and i'm still using of course this one that i'm halfway done with um i'm not sure if i can i think some people are like you can buy it like you can do like a forwarding address or something i don't know i gotta figure it out because i'm almost running out okay so let me talk to you guys about a little bit about like my trip i know you're gonna want to know about this so i'll talk to you about this um and I've got, I've got some problems, like whatever. Um, ow, I just hit the bone of my fucking butt. Okay, I have like some bones to pick with some people out there who try to try me on the DL. Like they literally try to try me on the DL and like I just am so disgusted. I obviously have blocked you, you've been blocked. Um, I told you don't try and be cute on my page. Don't ever try to be cute on my page, it's not your page. Be cute on your own page that no one gives a fuck about. That's why you try to come on my page, okay? I will block you immediately and you'll be fucking down forever, okay? Um, anyway, so before I get started with that, I have like two losers, two complete losers to call out. Um, I wanna talk to you guys about my 10K stuff and only because most of the I always talk about my jewelry, but this is the Rue Pave, I love it so much. Um, and then this is my super gleam, you know that, it's the 10K one, I never take it off. Um, but you guys know that um, with, like my, okay, so I really feel like this is gonna be the new thing that I never take off, ever. And um, I don't know, like I love all my other obviously HRH jewelry and stuff, obviously, but there's just some things that I do that are, like are just like, oh my God, how can I ever take this off? Okay, I don't know. So we'll just see how, we'll see how it goes. But um, this is my new 10K piece and the chain's my new, it's a new flat curb chain. I really, really love it. It's a new to my line. I haven't used this kind of chain before. It's really sick. It's really, really comfortable. This is 20 inches, just so you know. All of my, okay. So all of this stuff I'm talking about right now is all $10 off each design so like this is ten dollars off this is ten dollars off this is ten dollars off everything is ten dollars off plus it's free us shipping on the whole site right now just so you guys know anyway this is called my 10k dynasty 
um, initial and I love it. It is so 1970s. It's big. Okay. It's so sick. I love the font and it's really obviously perfect just like that if you want. But I added my Julia, I have uh, Juliet, 10K Juliet crosses. And this one is the baguette one. I don't know if you can see, it's all um, baguettes, 10K with uh, CZ baguettes. Really, really cool. Or then I have a little mini one with rounds, like a chubby one, it's really cute, or like a really classic one. Uh, what does my tongue look? It's not, okay. Um, a classic, like medium sized one. And I love that they're layered and they just move back and forth. And sometimes the cross goes over the A, sometimes the A. It's just one of those like really effortless, like 1970s things that like you always saw like really cool, like night, I don't know. I feel like my mom in like the seventies wore this kind of stuff. And I just really like it. It's really effortless. It's really personalized. And then the cross is like, I just love that God. And I don't know, it's just something that like, I really, really, really love and I'm really excited about. So I just feel like this is something I'm gonna be wearing a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't think I'm ever gonna take it off. Just like this, I'm not gonna take off. I kind of feel like it's gonna become that. So if you want to get these, which you totally should, please order them now because of the $10 off for each item. It's like a really good deal. And then I'm wearing my bangles again. I took them off. Um, I forget why I took them off. I took them off, I put them back on. These are all real 14K in diamonds. So they are they are quite expensive. Uh, you guys always ask about this one. This is a one of a kind, actually. Um, it's I cannot like remake it. So this one, don't ask about, but if you are ever interested in like, a, these are really, these are expensive. Um, they're diamonds in 14K, um, then you can, ask me about these but you guys do email me thinking they're like costume jewelry they're not costume I guess I just took them off because I had so many other bracelets that I loved that I was wearing and like but you know what I mean I don't know I'm just giving I'm doing these again I don't know if I'll take them off I don't know I don't know I don't know we'll see and then I'm wearing of course just my u-locks because I went to the can I just haven't done any like fancy earrings lately because I was kind of traveling and then the box I love it the gold cube okay um, anyway, I'm obs absolutely obsessed with these right now. Like, it's just so, I don't know. It's like, it's so like the cool girl. Like, it's, just, it's so cool. It's like something you see someone wearing and you're like, it's like the nails. It's like, it's just right. You know what I mean? It's just fucking perfect. It's so shiny. It's such a vibe. It, it just looks right. You know, and it's meaningful. I don't know. I love it. I just, I'm really all about it. Okay, shut up. Okay. So the next thing I talk about, should I talk about the bag or should I talk about culprits? No, I feel like I'm going to talk about these fucking idiots. Um... Okay, the first one I want to talk about is, um, okay, let me think about the two. The two were, who was it? I have in my notes. I have a list that I compile all week. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So cringy. Okay, the most cringy thing I've ever, I was like, I was so cringed out. Like a little telltale bitch, okay? I was minding my own business. Like, literally, I was minding my own business. All right, I was like, I don't happen. I forget where I was. And I was like, she's just stunned. I read this comment on my page, on my Insta. And there was this woman who tagged the Wynn Hotel where I was staying. I am not joking you. This bitch is a fucking loser. A goddamn Mrs. Kravitz brown nose little bitch loser you are a loser there's something wrong with you you don't have i'll tell you what's wrong with you right now you're either fat ugly useless which one is it probably all fat ugly useless or stupid which one is it i will tell you it's all four fat ugly useless or stupid yeah bitch that's you that's you okay she goes on my insta page where I like someone did um someone did it, like a screen grab of me like on Twitter of me like gambling at the casino drinking a martini like gambling I like love like this certain machine and they tweeted like something about Alex being the moment yes like Alex being the moment or something and so I just re I reposted it was like really cute and this bitch tags the win and she's like oh so at Wynn Hotel, are we allowing people to film in the casinos now? Like trying to rat me out. Like what a tattletale bitch, right? So embarrassing, like the most embarrassing move I've ever seen in my damn life. Like that's the kind of bitch that I would literally, f oh my God, like I don't know how far I can go in here so I'm not going to because who knows if I say, this guy is 
blue, I can fucking get in trouble now. Like anything I do, I can get in trouble. But like honestly, like the most cringy thing I've seen, I was like, oh my god, like I'm honest, I'm actually embarrassed for this person. But at the same time, like I don't know, like maybe you are can like get me in trouble. Like what? I, I mean, I know I won't get in trouble. Like I wasn't even there anymore. It's not the point. The point is, you're not gonna try and make a, a spectacle out of me, and you're not gonna be cute on my page, bitch. Get the motherfuck off of my page. Okay. You know what? I feel like they all have a look too. That kind of bitch has a fucking look to her. I already know what she, I don't even know what she looks like, but I know what she fucking looks like. Okay, the next one. Okay, so then like I guess Brian Boy has been attending class, and um he's all like I I don't really know much about him. I'm I like I followed him on my old on my old page. I don't know this page. I follow no one basically, and he's been like reposting some of my like clips or whatever. <laughs> and then um I guess he's been posting he's been like he's been like reposting a couple of them and some little sn like little sh what's the word like a nerd you're such a fucking dork like you are like that nerd in high school right like just trying to be cool now or some shit or just like not even like you're just like that nerd in high school like you're so embarrassing so she or he wrote I used to love okay so he dm'd Brian Boy to try to be like, I used to love her, but she's like an anti-masker, like a Q QAnon, whatever. Okay, like what? No, I do not like a mask, you fucking Nazi! No, I do not like a mask. I will not wear a mask. If I don't have to wear a mask, I will not wear a mask. If you would like to wear a mask, you may wear a mask. Get the fuck off of my page. Don't fucking go it. I don't give a fuck what you would like to do. Leave me alone. Stop trying to spread bullshit rumors because I will fucking... I will fucking stamp everyone out. Every fucking bullshit QAnon. What the fuck? What is that even? What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Don't don't be a fucking idiot. Get the fuck off of my page. So anyway, like try to blah, 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 be like that. Yes, I am an anti. Yes, I don't want to wear a mask. If you want to wear a mask, there's something wrong with you, but you may do it. You may do it. It's a free country, dumb shit. Okay. Anyway, so Brian Boy was like, so what? It's like free speech everyone can have their own opinions which is true just like i said if you want to wear a mask wear a mask i don't care shut up you're so do you think by the way i told you a million times try to tell me what to do bitch try to tell me what to do because guess what i will never do it then dumb shit okay so yeah i tried to like try to like be like oh well you can like her but like blah 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 like she's like like do you see the kind of shit like trying to like trying to make a wedge between people that's nice like, like you just made yourself look so stupid because he doesn't give a shit you idiot you fucking little nazi bitch that's you are not a psychotic little nazi bitch i swear to god say it to my face you fucking cunt say it to my face you little nazi okay anyway <sighs> these people are like, trying me like I told you, like I these people are like trying the fuck out of me, like trying to be cute. Alright, the next thing I talk about is a pair of sunglasses I'm really excited about. Like honestly, it's so annoying. You fucking little mask freak fuck. Get the fuck, get the fuck off of my page. I'm not kidding, get the fuck off of my page. Why the fuck are you here? Like you're honestly so ugly. You are so ugly. I'm a thousand percent sure. Haven't I told you don't come for me? Don't come for me unless, unless what are the rules again, bitch? We know the rules. Side profile, full body shot, tax returns, bank statements. Do you think I'm joking? Now, if you come for me, that's the thing. That will never happen. A normal attractive person who's got their shit together would never have done that you're a fucking loser you're a fucking loser okay so okay um when i was in paris like a couple years ago not the time i was fat the time after when i was like i was skinnier but like i would i feel like i feel like i didn't have a like best vibe i feel like my vibe is like really good right now um anyway i yeah, I didn't really have a vibe. Like, I look back at my photos. I'm like, no, you're like not the cutest. Anyway, um, see how see how I can be real? Do you see how I can admit? Okay, I was in like Selfridges or something like that, and I tried these on. Okay, I tried these on, and um, I didn't buy them. I don't know why. Okay, I didn't like them, and um, these are Loewe, and this is the the last time I will ever tell you. Take notes, bitch. This is the last time I will ever tell you. I will never tell you again. 
If you don't know after this, it's not my damn problem. You are stupid and you failed the class. Don't fucking ask me again. Don't ask questions. It's already been told if you're too dumb to listen or if you haven't attended class, that's your problem. Stop asking questions. Stop asking questions. Okay. There is no such thing as bitch. This is the this is the truth. And if anyone told you differently, they're fucking just trying to fuck you up. There is no such thing as a good question. All questions are stupid questions. A stupid fucking question. Okay. Anyway, um, so I tried these. I don't know why I didn't get them. But I didn't get them. And then for some reason, like, I've just been wanting these. Because you want to know why? I wear, like, um, my HRH skin sets and just, like, sneakers. And I, I just feel like these visor sunglasses are such, are, like, so perfect. I just, you guys, I, you guys, I don't know what it is. Like, I just, like, need them um, for that. Like, I just feel like they're such a vibe. It's, like, kind of, like, what I wear all the time. Anyway, so I've, <laughs> I've been, like, looking for them everywhere. I was like, you can't find them anywhere. So I went on eBay. <laughs> shut the fuck up okay so i went on ebay and i i bought them from this seller and they didn't come in like a month i kept asking for tracking asking for tracking asking for tracking and they kept to like not re replying so finally I had to get like paypal involved or ebay and ebay was like we're refunding you because they're not responding to us either and the, the whatever it was like canceled so i was like oh my god like so annoying i really want these sunglasses i kind of like, got them out of my mind um and then I went to like um, that off Saks place and I saw they had them, but with a clear or like the yeah like peachy color lens. And I tried them on and it's so stupid. I hate a sunglass that's clear. Why why would you ever wear that? Like I'm sorry, what the fuck would you wear a clear lens sunglass? Like why would you do that? Like that's so embarrassing. Like it's not stupid. It's just you know what it is. Like it's very try. You're trying very hard. You're trying very hard, and you look stupid. Okay, so I wouldn't wear that typically. Um, I wouldn't wear it, and so I was like, but I really like the shape. So I went back on eBay, and I found these, and I was like, I watch it be like another scam, or like I don't get them. But they showed up yesterday. They showed up in like a box, like a random box, no like, no box or anything. They're real, like they're hundred percent real. But they're probably like stolen or something. I don't know, whatever. Um, but they're like brand new, haven't been worn, I can tell. And I just like love them. I feel like they really fit my face. And there's a couple little notes I want to talk to you guys about because um I don't know what I'm like not feeling myself. I actually I'm kind of over this shirt. Like I just don't like it. It's kind of like old, and I feel like it just like does not like do anything for me. Okay, so um I really like these because I have for some reason let me show you guys. Um okay i'll show you so i'll give you guys an example so my nose um which is so funny like some people out there like they think i'm like so gorgeous or like try to say that i got like plastic surgery and like i'll get another nose job like oh my god i I've, I've never had any surgery on my face yeah like over three years ago i put stuff on my lips last time i ever did anything was like over three years on my lips yes i do get botox yes i do get like i have filler filler here okay yeah or like i think here too right I don't remember. Couple, whatever. So yes, I do. I do do things like that, but I don't get plastic surgery. I never had gotten plastic on my face. We already know I got my boobs in that. We already know I did that. Okay. I don't hide what I do. Anyway, so I have like a weird, that's why this side is like, I feel like I love this side, but this side is like so ugly. Like, I don't know why I'm the ugliest person you guys are on this side. Like, like it's honestly, like, I'm disgusting. Like if I looked like this, I wouldn't try anyone, bitch. Like, no, 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 not this side. No, bitch. We're not trying. We are not trying anyone with this side. Okay. So I have this bump right here in my nose. It's like, can you see? It's like a huge bump. And luckily it doesn't show. I don't know why it doesn't show, but it doesn't, it doesn't show. Um, and so it, I can either put these here or I can put them here, which if you put them here, there's something wrong with you. Like that anyone who, I bet you that bitch who turned me into the wind, she's like this. Oh my God, when are you really letting people film in your, in, in your casino? Yeah, that's her. I'm not kidding. That's her. That's what she does. Okay. So, I swear to God. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, those people do that. Like, that's how they act. They are the ugliest people, too. They're so ugly. They're such losers. Okay. Um. So, I for some reason, with these, like, putting them right here on me. No. Okay, I really thought so. I was wearing them like this in the car. Not all the way up here. But I was wearing them like this in the car. But no. Look at, look, look at that. It makes my nose look so ugly. Like, Ew, ew, no, no, no. So I can only wear them here. Oh, oh I was gonna say, no, 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 I was gonna say, okay, I forgot. Okay, with these, you guys, bitch, they make me look like I have a, a little like fat troll nose because um, it just makes it 
look bulbous right here, even though it's like not, it's just, so I have to go really low so it doesn't. Okay. But with these, I don't feel like it does. Yeah. See? And it's comfortable. It's so comfortable. Um, it's so comfortable. It's, there's so much like shade and I just really love them. Like, I'm just, I don't know why I didn't get them when I was in France. Like, I don't understand why I didn't do that or I, in London. Like, see, I have like no vibe apparently. Like, I can't like turn these down. Something's wrong with me. Okay. So that's that. Really love them. And we will not repeat who they, what they are again. We will not repeat the name of them. That's on you. That's on you. Okay. Um, then I'll talk about my bag. So you guys know when I go on trips, I like to always like buy something. But like, I wasn't gonna just buy something to buy something. Everything is so ugly right now. There's like nothing to buy. There's like no merchandise, like as far as like designership. And like, I, I really don't want to, I'm, I'm, my life is like, oh, I'm gonna talk to you about something else. Actually, no, I will. I will wanna make sure you guys this is my bag. Like, people are like on one. Someone wrote a comment on my page the other day about me being poor. Like, okay, I'll tell you what. So apparently like, because I was at Marshall's, they're like, oh my God, bitch. Like you, I, what, you're like literally poor shopping at Marshall's. Like, like people are the nastiest people ever. Like who says something like that? Like it's so sickening. Anyway, gross. I am so sick of people right now. Okay. So this is the her bag. And um, this is the thing. I've already spoken about this bag plenty of times. I have the same bag in black. And um, I used to like it. I had it when I was fat. So like anything I had when I was fat is kind of like PTSD for me. Like I don't like to like revisit things when I was fat, but this is different. So I, like we were walking around um, and went into Hermes and um, I saw this pink one in the window with a really dark leather. And let me tell you, I hate brown. I hate brown leather, like I hate it. But what I hate more, but for some reason, I this is like the cutest color in the entire, the cutest, I just love it. I love it so much. And the back has this red pocket, which I like. So it doesn't get, I feel like the pink would have gotten like more dirty. And then inside is red. So you like, you know what I mean? So it doesn't get, it's not gonna get super dirty. And I just love this pink. Like anything like pink Hermes, like is, is very hard to like come by. I feel like it's like, you kind of like take what you can get as far as color. You just worry about like the style. Um, but I absolutely love this bag. And I saw the darker one in the window, which I didn't like. I hate black and pink, like the color combination, black and pink to me. It's so, um, I don't know what it is. Like I, I have like a term for it in my head, but I don't want to say it cause I don't want to offend people. And because it's like, I'm not trying to offend that group of people. It just like very like that. It just like seems like that to me. It has to do with like, I don't know what to talk about it. It's like something like in high school to say, whatever. So I don't like black and pink combination, but I don't know. And I hate, I typically don't like brown. Like I don't ever gravitate towards brown, but I like this with the pink. I think it is so fucking cute. I can't stand this. This is coming off. Um, if you guys watch my other bag with the her bag, you know that my Privé bag chain fits perfectly in place of this and seamlessly. So I can take this out forever. I just haven't been to the, off the office yet to, to, to switch it out. And then I'll have like a silver chain. It'll be like so fucking even more sick. Um, but I really, really love this so much. It's the her bag in pink and I'm wearing black. So I don't really like, no, it's not, this is the thing. Like it's just the shirt. Like this shirt is really bothering me. Like nothing looks good with the shirt. Like I wore this bag home and I was wearing like knit I like got big chunky knit sweater and like yoga pants and um, trainers with this. I just really love that vibe. And um, yeah, what do you think? Oh, there's my charger. Let's try to see what that was. A quick like what's in my bag, just to kind of show you guys. I got some new things and I think it's like kind of cute. Okay, so I went to Marshall's because I'm obviously poor like obviously i'm poor like i i love going to marshall's i love marshall's i love tj maxx like home goods are you kidding me it's like so fun like where else do people go like that's where that's where i go i don't know love that shit okay um let me show you this i just like love it i got like the cutest shit um and so i got this little thing it's a la satane bag and i feel like it's do you guys remember cherry chums or ch cherry chum 
Marion Cream. Marion Cream from um, Sanrio. She was like a very limited character and I really loved her. And I feel like this is very that. It's almost like very like Sanrio-esque. And um, uh, anyway, I have my makeup in here and I'm trying to see if there's any other like makeup I want to share with you guys that's like important. I think I might be doing like a face, like a, a another face thing, like how to do my face. I think a lot of you guys like love my makeup. Um, okay, so I have that. And then I showed you guys I had this, of course. Um, the lipstick I just put on, which I actually love like more than any other lipstick that I use in the middle is the MAC, the Myth. I really like it. I wish it like kind of stayed longer, but okay. Then oh yeah, I gotta do this too. Oh my god, more drama. I don't know if I should tell you. Like honestly, it's like so ridiculous. Never mind. I'm so sick of people. Okay, I got this because I wanted like a um. I get really oily during the day. I get really oily like in the t-zone right so i got this i was at ulta it's just like a setting powder it's just like ugly as shit it's like so ugly but i just need it like for that it just it was plain at least like i just don't understand i tweeted about it like why is everything why are all of these like compact companies like everything is so tacky like, I'm not talking about, like, Chanel. Chanel is the only one. A lot of you guys are like, oh, Dior. Like, actually, no. Like, Dior is not, I don't think it's pretty. It's, like, over the top. Or, they're like, it's weird. Like, I don't like anything. Everything is, like, just tacky. Like, any, I'm, I'm trying to think of anything, like, that's good. I don't know. Even, like, Lancome, like, the plain black, that's nice. But, like, it's so fucking, like, the Too Faced shit is so tacky. It's so weird. Like, it's, it's just ugly. It's, like, it looks like, 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 what's it called? Like, like the dollar store. Ugh, I hate it. It's like, it's just so cringy. Okay, then I have my cigarettes. And like, the thing is like, it's just so annoying at the cigarettes thing. Um, You guys, like some people out there act like it's like the antichrist if I have like a cigarette every once in a while. And you like, just like I told you, cringy. Like you really are. And just like, shut your fucking mouth. You know what I mean? Like you're so embarrassing. Okay, then I got these. I love to steal pens, you know that. Cipriani. And then I stole all like their... um matches because they're pretty now it also comes with this inside which is cool but i haven't used it um then i have my gt key and then i have this which is like my new favorite thing ever oh my god it's the reese's the thins have you guys tried the thins yet it's really good because like they are so they're thinner right so they're really like not that bad to eat and this the white chocolate one is so fucking good oh my god it's so good so that's what i have and then i don't have a wallet right now because i've just been using this just so convenient so i have like my cash and my cards right here which i really like um and i just want to kind of like just leave you with a little well i don't know what i'll leave you with but i want to say one thing i might say something else after this these are my snacks from the plane Um, yeah, bitch, you think I'm stupid? You think I'm just gonna like let you try and school me like that when no one gives a fuck but you? Okay, um, so someone tried to complain about my mask on the flight and she's like, I, the, the flight attendant was like, I honestly don't give a shit, but like she's complaining and they're already seeing the writing me up because they don't like the way I talked to them earlier or some shit, they're like insane. This bitch on there, let me tell you, there was a psychotic bitch on the plane or two rows down from me she was like um touched she was like like i i really like she was like a schizo okay and she kept on like trying to ask questions this is before we even took off something about how the weather is like like how's the weather gonna be oh um, can you handle it like and the front the flight attendant was like ma'am are we gonna have a problem because you're really asking a lot of questions and this is not our first rodeo. And then, I don't give a fuck. Stop it! I'm just trying to fucking eat and talk. I don't need, a, I don't need your fucking opinions. Anyway, 
they're melted they're melted so i looked behind me to see the commotion because it was like she was just being stupid like acting like like that she was like nervous about about the plane not being able to like what who we're flying into like in, into fucking like orange county are you fucking dumb there's something wrong with you yeah something's wrong with you so i didn't even give her a nasty look or anything i was just like look behind and, like see what's going on and i guess she noticed my mask didn't like my mask okay not one person in the whole fucking not one person said anything throughout security through check out check in nothing bitch she says a fucking cut said something so apparently she like complained she says the girl's like sorry she's like complaining and they're already saying they're gonna write me up for because they didn't like the way i handled something so would you mind just putting on this other mask so they got no problem so i took the mask from her and i put it below my chin i had snacks the whole time so i kept on like I kept on like doing this in the plane and being like I have like water bottle but what like what I'm sorry I'm just eating snacks so that and then I had lifesavers thank god thank god my fat ass got these before I found the plane it's like I would never like, I would never buy snacks on the plane. Like, what the fat fuck does that? But, like, something told me in my head. Like, just get some snacks. I don't know why. Um. Fucking psycho bitch. So, um. Yeah, anyway. Psycho! Okay. Um. Mmm. Apple. I love lifesavers. They're so good. It's like my new thing now. How many colors are in lifesavers? This shade. I'm gonna get more of those. You know what's funny? I like all these flavors. Cherry, raspberry, watermelon, orange, pineapple. The pineapple one was fucking bomb. Wait, what's this red orange? What's this purple one though? Is that grape? I don't like grape. No, it's cherry. Oh my god. Hmm. Is frowning though? Probably, right? For sugar? I don't know. So good. Hmm. Anyway. The whole thing with the money thing really bothers me though because i think what's going on is like you guys know that i'm not married anymore so you would try and like put me down thinking saying that like i don't like have any money i'm like now i'm poor because like i'm divorced and like it wasn't my money like as much as you wish that was the truth it's like it's complete opposite you know what i mean and it's so like it's just so disgusting how much you guys hate like wish that like i was broke you know what i mean like if i was broke if i was broke like how come my life is better now than it was before you know what I mean? Like, that's how fucking dumb you are. Like, that's how fucking stupid. Ugly, fat, useless, stupid. That's not shit, okay? Let's refer. That is a junior mint, dumb shit. Fat, ugly, useless, stupid. Period. And it's like, every time you try and be like a psychotic hateful bitch trying to spread stupid rumors ask yourself would anyone who was the opposite of these be doing that now they would not thousand percent true anyway <sighs> that's 
it. All right, guys.